takes care of that! Greetings Platinum Hunters and welcome to Platinum Trophy Review, or PTR for short. So get ready to slap some Romans, let's feast on some boar, and make sure to drink the magic potion that gives you amazing strength as we conquer our way through this week's game, Asterix and Obelix Slap Them All. But what is Asterix and Obelix Slap Them All? Well, it is a beat em up game with the possibility of cooperative gameplay. The game is fully 2D with hand drawn characters and backgrounds. Slap Them All was released on the 2nd of December 2021. The game has two game modes, Adventure and Free Play. In Adventure, the player goes through all levels of the game in a set order. The levels are divided into six acts. Most acts are based on comic books of the same name. Free play mode becomes available after completing Adventure. In this mode, the player can retry any level of the game at any difficulty and beat their own scores. So this will be perfect for trophy cleanup later. Slap Them All has a total of 31 trophies, four gold, 15 silver, 11 bronze, and of course, one platinum trophy. The game has difficulty set trophies. One for beating the game on easy, one on medium, another one on hard, and the last one on the hardest difficulty. Fortunately, these trophies are stackable, so the first thing we are going to do is play the game on the hardest setting. Now, before going in, I would suggest entering the tutorial screen and learning some of the combos, as you will need them when playing on the hardest difficulty. Plus, there are two trophies associated with performing every move with Asterix and Obelix in a single level, but uh, more on that later. Quick side notes, I would recommend not getting sidetracked with the miscellaneous trophies, as we can come back in free play and achieve them. Focus on completing the game on hardest, as trying to do both is tying one hand around your back and making your playthrough harder and longer than need be. While playing, you will quickly grasp the way the game plays. You will have your standard attacks and heavy attacks that use up energy. Uppercutting enemies is one of the best moves, but be careful as this leaves you open for attacks if you miss. Levels are very short but intense. There are no checkpoints and if either Asterix or Obelix is defeated, it will be game over forcing you to restart the level. Another thing to keep in mind is crowd control. Enemies will come from both sides and give you a bad time if you don't sort them out. Try and keep all enemies on one side as this will make your life much easier. Prioritize the more deadlier enemies, for example the brutes and gladiators. These are a pain in the ass as they will charge at you and if hit, they will take off quite a bit of health. Asterix grab is perfect for crowd control as once an enemy is grabbed, he will swing them around and knock all enemies nearby down. I would not recommend doing the same with Obelix as his grab leaves him wide open for attack, so keep this in mind. Lastly, you can hit enemies who are knocked down, so take advantage of this to get those extra slaps in, especially when it comes to the bosses and brutes. Once you have beaten the game on the hardest difficulty, free play is now available and we shall focus on the last remaining trophies. The sky is falling. Send 5 enemies flying with a single uppercut. Not too hard and you should get this easily and naturally enough during your playthrough. Romanish Kebab. Ram 10 enemies with a single charge. Another easy one to achieve during the playthrough. Strike. Knock down 10 enemies with a single throw. This can be done in the later levels as there will be sections where you are literally swarmed by Romans. Concussion Constellation. Stun 5 enemies at the same time. To stun an enemy, press down and triangle or jump and triangle. This is very useful during boss fights when it comes to crowd control. Volleyball. Send an enemy flying in the air before it ever touches the ground. To achieve this, you will need to grab an enemy, throw them, they will bounce back off the edge of the screen and then uppercut them to unlock this trophy. Pretty easy once you know what must be done. Slap Nado. 
land 40 hits in a row with a single spin with Asterix. By holding down the triangle, Asterix will start to spin. So wait for those levels where you get surrounded by Romans and hold down triangle and move between the Romans. And an Olympic score. Score at least 500,000 points on any mission. Don't worry too much about this as this will become achievable towards the end missions of chapter 5 as there will be loads of enemies to be able to hit the score. Stop hitting yourself. Make the slap counter climb to over 600. Again, save this for the later chapters as it will be much easier to achieve due to the high volume of enemies you will face. Use standard attacks to help build up that meter. Got mustache and that's gotta hurt. Require you to use all of Asterix and Obelix's moves in a single mission. To clarify, this can be done in separate missions. You don't have to use both Asterix and Obelix in a mission to achieve this. Highly recommended this be done on the easier settings. Alright then, time for level specific trophies. The Indomitable. Complete mission 6 slash 1 without getting hit even once on medium or higher. Complete the level without taking a single hit, obviously, and I would recommend doing this on medium as enemies will go down faster. No such thing as a free sandwich. Destroy all objects in mission 6 slash 5 in under 80 seconds. This can be done on the easier setting and how I'd recommend you go about doing this is by going in a straight line, ground pounding as much as possible, down plus triangle, then doubling back to finish what you've left behind. A swift swig at sea. Destroy all barrels in mission 3 slash 4 in under 34 seconds. Same strategy as before mentioned. Hunger is the mother of all motivations. Complete mission 6 slash 8 without picking up any food in medium or higher. For the love of God, do this on medium to save yourself from raging. After all the ground pounding, Roman slapping and liberating is complete, you should be the proud owner of an ultra rare 2.7 platinum trophy. So is Asterix and Obelix slap them all worth all the slapping? Asterix and Obelix slap them all is a delightful action packed adventure that captures the essence of the beloved comic series. The game brings to life the whimsical world of our favorite goals, Asterix and Obelix, offering fans a chance to experience their epic journey in a new interactive way. However, while I thoroughly enjoyed my time with the game, it's not without its hiccups. Charming and authentic. Slap Them All does an excellent job of staying true to the Asterix and Obelix universe. The humor, art style and atmosphere are spot on, making it a treat for fans of the comics. Solid co-op experience. The option to play cooperative with a friend enhances the experience enabling you to team up as the indomitable Gaul duo. Nostalgia Factor. For the long time fans of Asterix and Obelix, this game is a nostalgic trip down memory lane. The references to classic adventures and familiar characters add an extra layer of enjoyment. Though the cons are frustrating difficulty, the game's hardest mode can be a source of frustration. While it's great to have a challenge, it sometimes feels more punishing than it needs to be, and that translates to an irritating level of difficulty. Missing original voice actors. It's a pity that the original voice actors weren't used as their voices are synonymous with the characters. This detracts from the overall immersion and connection with the franchise. Repetitive boss fights. Some of the boss fights are repeated a bit too often throughout the game. It would have been more enjoyable if there were more diverse and unique encounters to keep the gameplay fresh. In conclusion, Asterix and Obelix Slap Them All offers a fun and faithful romp through the Gaulish countryside with our favorite heroes. The game successfully captures the essence of the Asterix and Obelix world and the co-op mode is a great addition. However, the challenging difficulty might leave players feeling more frustrated than fulfilled and the absence of the original voice actors is a letdown. Additionally, the overuse of the certain boss fights can make the game feel repetitive at times. Despite these shortcomings, the game manages to live an entertaining experience for fans of the series and anyone looking for a light-hearted, action-packed adventure. The trophy list manages to strike a balance between offering a sense of achievement and being accessible to a wide range of players. The game's nostalgic charm and gameplay mechanics make the seemingly daunting tasks much more achievable, so don't be intimidated by the trophy list.
with a few adjustments and refinements, Slap Them All could have been an even more enjoyable journey with our beloved Gorts. Asterix and Obix Slap Them All's Platinum Trophy is a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching and making it this far in the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and maybe even share the video. There are more videos like these on my channel so have a gander. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time.